Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to discuss and do a deep dive into a patella tendon reflex, which can also help indicate if somebody has an issue with the L4 nerve root area. Um, there is a little bit of carryover into a couple of the others, but I have found over my 33 years of experience that um, that is classically an L4 situation. Um, so what I wanna do is just kind of talk about how do we make our deep tendon reflex testing better? How do we become more consistent with it and make it more rel a reliable test? I hear a lot of people telling me that they have a hard time getting the reflex. They, maybe it's a technique thing. Maybe they don't do it very often. Um, but the key to deep tendon reflex testing is striking the right area, striking it with enough speed, utilizing a reflex hammer that has a dense enough head to it, and then practicing, okay? Practicing and making sure that you hit that tendon in a perpendicular fashion each time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna outline the anatomy on the front of the leg just so we can make sure that we get it in the right spot, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna outline the bottom of her patella here. So go ahead and relax, let your leg drop, and we're just gonna find the bottom ridge of that patella. Okay, we're also gonna go find her tibial tubercle. So what we can do is we can give her a little bit of resistance, go ahead and straighten the leg out and relax. And we can feel where her patella tendon is attaching right here. It's always a little bit more lateral than you would think. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with a different color, we're gonna draw in this patella tendon right here. Okay, so this is where it comes to, right in that area, just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna get ready to do our deep tendon reflex testing of our patella tendon. So what we wanna do is we wanna strike that tendon as perpendicular as possible. We wanna have some good swing speed and we wanna allow the head to bounce back off. A lot of people hold the hammer really low like this and strike it and hold it there and we don't wanna do that. The other thing that's very important is that the patient be as relaxed as possible and if they can't, I might have them pull their hands apart, I might have them count out loud, or I might ask them some questions and just have a conversation while I'm testing them. But let's go ahead and give this one a try. Uh, I want you to go ahead and relax, and we're just gonna give this a nice little strike. And as you can see, we have some nice knee extension right there. And the key is to practice and make sure that you're always striking it in the right area with the right density head um, and it's perpendicular as possible and be sure to let that striker come back off, okay? Let the head fall back off of the patient once you have struck it. Um, so be sure to keep practicing your deep tendon reflex testing with your patients uh, and even on your coworkers so that you can become a little bit more consistent. It's an integral part in identifying if somebody has some nerve related issues. Sometimes uh, you can identify other issues like neurodegenerative disorders, hyperthyroidism, uh, many other uh, issues can be identified with the use of a reflex hammer and doing deep tendon reflex testing. So hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.